I haven't heard this song. I've only heard the two songs. I think it's like a yeah, like a villain and dethrone. They're the two songs I've done from uh, Bad Omens. So we're gonna go just pretend. And the reason is because I just saw well, four days ago. It might be more once I post this video, but at the time of this recording, four days ago, they just uh, released their official music video to this song, and that's the way I just saw it. I searched up Bad Omens. That was the first thing that popped up. So I'll do something that's relevant, um, but I'm going to do the live version because that's what we do here, man. Here and there, I'll do recorded versions, but I like the live versions. I want to see them live. I want to see them interact with the fans. I want to see how they play live and their energy live, and that's where I'm at. I'm, I've got used to that now since Linkin Park, pretty much. Linkin Park and Metallica got me right into going, okay, let's go for the live videos, man, rather than the recorded I can always listen to recorded at the gym in my headphones, and that's usually what I do. Um, but the live versions are for this channel, usually, man, because it's just a whole different thing. You feel like you know them a little bit more than just hearing their recorded version. But let's go, man. Let's go. Sounds familiar, man. Maybe I have heard this. At least I've heard that little part. That sounds real familiar. feel this i i think i've heard that chorus i haven't the, the verse isn't ringing any bells yet but i've definitely heard that chorus but this sounds like it's gonna be fucking deep man and immersive He looks a little bit like Phil Anselmo. Just a little bit. Just a little bit from um, Pantera. Just a little bit. Man. He's a really good singer, eh? Like, I know this isn't the best version. This is live 4K, so I figured it would be, like, half decent. And it is. The bass is coming through a bit, bit too heavy sometimes. And, you know, it's a bit washy. But it's you can still hear how good of a singer he is, man. Like, it, it doesn't seem like it's that hard for him either. Like what he just did there. 
It is like I'm, I'm just proving that I'm not lip, uh, lip syncing. That's pretty cool. It takes a leader to show up for you. I hate when a fucking ad just comes on, like just boom, ad, and it just cuts. You're just, you're just going, wow, that was really nice. That was a really good song. Wow, they performed that great. And then bang, this ad comes in and fucks it up. I hate when that happens, man. Anyway, <laughs> get YouTube Premium. <laughs> man, I don't like it. I don't know. I'd, with the YouTube Premium thing, uh, maybe I shouldn't go into it. I don't know, because it's like you can buy YouTube Premium and you got no ads and shit, and I did that for a while, but then I started realizing, man, ads are where, you, uh, ads are where the content creators make the fucking money for their work that they put in, so it's like, now yeah, I'll just let the ad run, man, and give that person some money, so <laughs> that's kind of how I look at it now, I don't know, maybe I'll go back to Premium, but whatever, but I hate when the fucking ad just cuts off my vibe when I'm, I'm liking that song, because that song was cool, man. It was immersive. I want to listen to the, like obviously the, like I said before, the, the quality isn't wasn't the greatest, so I want to listen to that song in my headphones, recorded version, which I usually do. If I if I see a live, put a live performance up here that I haven't heard the recorded version, I'll go back and listen to it for sure. Um, and a lot of this because it's whole heavy metal. Usually it's like fucking gym, straight at the gym, man. These songs at the gym, so. Um, Awesome, man. Awesome. I want to know more about this band because I don't know. There's something about, especially the singer. There's just something about him that's like unique. He just seems unique. He seems in his, like his obviously his voice, but then just the way he was just then, like his body language and everything. Like he just seems like he's his own kind of unique kind of person. I don't know. I don't. I haven't seen anything on him, but it'd be cool to look up some interviews. Um, and get some backstory on this band and the backstory on him but fucking hell they killed that man they killed that and it just seemed like some another band that has a crazy following too it seems like it it seemed uh, maybe maybe uh, this seemed like the crowd was i just love when i see when the crowd is into it with them like it's just i say that in like any like any time i see that in these live videos anytime i see a crowd connection with the with the band I reckon that's the best part of it, man. That's that's being a successful band. Obviously, playing amazing, like playing quality music and playing it well and all that, that's a huge part of it. But I think the connection with the fans, man, that's just as big a part of it. You gotta bring them into it. You gotta want you gotta make them wanna be there. You gotta make them fucking believe in what you're doing, I suppose. And connect with each other through the song. So man, awesome. Awesome. We're definitely doing more bad omens, man. Let me know what you want to see.